Hi everyone, this is Phil from statisticsmentor.com. In this video I'm going to show you how to extract a portion of your data, subset of your data, which to perform linear regression or whatever analysis you want to do. So here we are looking at, the example looking at is the tooth growth data. I don't know too much about this, but it's about 60 guinea pigs. It's about measuring the length of tooth somehow after administering to them various dosages of um, vitamin C supplement which comes in two forms uh, acerbic acid which they know by VC or as orange juice OJ okay so we've got three variables there we've got length of tooth we've got supplement which is one of two types and dose which is comes under one of three types half one and two so the first rodent there after a period of time their tooth has grown to what 4.2 units they were given it was given a supplement of VC and dose of half Say I want to extract for some reason a room regression only on the V's, on um, VC, say, yeah, on VC. And how do I extract that from the 60 observations? Well, first, I'm going to show you the command and then we're going to discuss. The... All right, so here's the command the name that I've given it, I've got VCDAT equals, and then the name of the data file, uh, open bracket, name of the data file again, open bracket. Sp comma 2, close bracket, double equals VC, comma, blah. Anyway, look at that carefully. So, what's going on? Well, to know what's going on, we first see that it has worked, so let's type VC dat. This is what constitutes a VC dat, observations 1 to 30, which are ones we want, where it's only supplement, is of form VC, so OJ has been taken out. So how did that work? First, we're going to discuss the inner bracket here. First, we're going to just discuss what this means, then we'll discuss what that means, and then we'll put it all together. So, tooth growth, open bracket, comma, two. What does that say? Well, let's type it in and we'll see. Okay, so what this is telling, is, is doing, is extracting out. First, this thing here takes, let's say, takes the form, general form, one number followed by number A, B, right? So the first number A would be the number of the row in that data file, and B would be the column of that data file. Now since it has left out the first number row, it means that it will be across all rows of the second column. So what this is saying is printing out, writing down everything on the second column, across all rows of that second column. In other words, all rows, all rows, across all rows of the second column, in other words, all that lot. Let's see whether you've got that. If I type 1, what will this give me? Let's have a look. Well, this would give, give me the f entry of the first row of that data file across all columns. In other words, the first observation. Let's check. Yep. And if we wanted to isolate it even more, let's say 1-1, one, one, what will that give me? It should give me the, mm, the, the uh, entry of this uh, data file in row 1, column 1. In other words, this 4.2. Yes, it does. Now you try another one, 1, 3. Yep, a half, as you'd expect. So you've got that. So now we've got that. What does this mean? Now this is um, a logical kind of term. Is it true or false? It wants to know, looking down column 2, which of the entries is equal to VJ? If it's equal to VJ, it's true. Otherwise, it's false. So it's just saying, is it true? Looking at down each of the co second column and saying, is it true or false? That the condition is satisfied. That's VC. Let's let's type that in. So we see that the first 30. We know that the first 30 is true, and the rest are false. So that explains this bit. And then, if we do tooth growth again, it's then it's saying then 
write down, extract out all where it's true here and across all columns of that and that gives us the first 30 observations. Similarly we can do it for orange juice, replace the VC by OJ and OJ dat like so. So you know now we can perform separate regressions on each of those subsets regression or any other kind of analysis based on those subsets I should say and while this is not the method to compare two groups by running two separate regressions and then just comparing the coefficients uh, I'm gonna kind of do it because I just want to show you some extra kind of um, functions in R which are useful so I'm gonna do one regression for each I'm going to have a scatter plot for each um, now, we we'll start with the scatter plot. Because we've got two separate regressions, it's nice to have a pic, um, one figure with both plots, separate plots. Now, how can I do this in R to get more than one figure on a screen? Use the paragraph command and use, and then we will use the multiple fi figure command. Multiple figure we can arrange by row or columns. If we row by columns, we write col. If we want to arrange by rows, we type row, and then we write down how I want it arranged. So I want one column, two rows. You'll see what this means in a moment. Type enter. Figure appears like this. Empty one. Then I do plot. And then I want um, a length on dose, isn't it? Length on dose. And I want it on the data. Let's see the first data. Oh, what is it? VC dat. There you go. And then, and you can see what it's done. It's, it's arranged by row. So at first it puts one here, and then it's going to put this, the one in the second column, right here. Notice, by the way, that the format of this is of the form Y, X, as opposed to what you've seen before, X, com comma Y. All right. Okay. Now, I want to do a regression. So let's do a regression R for reg. Um, let's call this VC equals linear model dose length. Now, once I've done that, I can, I'm in a position now to fit the line AB line RVC RVC. Uh, except for I've made an error because it's a good thing I made this error because it's beginner's error I guess because when we haven't attached it so we have to tell it that we are doing it on the data which data we're doing on we're doing it on VC dat all right now we do the line I'm using the up arrow here so I can trace back through the history of commands Okay. And the other mistake I made was I got x and y the wrong way around. So I've done length on dose, vc, dat, and then I get the line. Alright. It is hot where I am. I'm on holiday. Okay, here you go. Length, dose, here is the line. I used the heat. Okay, next. Um, I want to do the same analysis but um, on the other data set, which is OJ. Right, I'm going to slow down, otherwise I'll make another error. So I've got length, length and dose, I've got OJ. Let's look at it. There you go. And different scale, so I know that's different. Okay. And then I do the same thing. I run a regression, but I'm using up arrow here to trace through my previous commands to speed things up a bit. I have to type things. Um, let's see. Uh, OJ. OJ. Okay, I'm running a regression on the OJ dat here. Then I do A B line. I'm too lazy to answer A B line. R O J. Another line appears. And there you go. So it's uh, seems quite a lot of work just to get here. But um, you can see that we've done regression of length from dose on the two types of dosages, and we've got a nice picture there. 
and we can compare them then does the is the difference in the uh, at the way that it's administered whether it's as a as a sorbic acid or as orange juice uh, on the relationship of length on dose well it appears to be because the slopes here are different aren't they if I can see what the slopes are by using summary command summary command so summary of my previous regressions OJ that's orange juice that has a slope of 7.8 and how about of a VC a slope of 11 so in other words if we're looking at it like this it seems like there is a difference doesn't it, it seems like there's a difference with um, with uh, VC having a bigger impact with a unit increase in dose on length. However, as I said earlier on, this is not the way to compare two uh, things, or it might seem logical to do that. Uh, this is not the way to compare the two groups by running separate regressions on each one. Um, we would compare them by running one regression with um, a dummy variable. And that dummy variable would be for supplement. Okay, but that's for another time. So here I've just run a regression just to show you various other functionalities of R, but based on the simple linear regression model, which we hopefully understand by now. Okay, hope that's been helpful.